Hello everyone, this is Abdullah from Secure Towers. Uh, today I'm gonna show you one of our amazing tools that we build it from scratch to our clients, which is called NetXMS. We build this tool over Ubuntu Linux machine to uh, give uh, our client a powerful tool to monitor their devices, whatever the, the size is. It is good for small companies, medium and large companies. So we save a lot of money for these companies and instead of going to purchase expensive tool like SolarWind, this tool is really amazing. Let's have a look uh, for the features of this, uh, of this amazing tool. First thing, you can draw an interactive diagrams. Let's have a look here. Let's come to the uh, diagrams, to the map. You can, whatever the sites you have, you can make a diagrams for each and every site. This only not drawing the diagram, this diagram is interactive diagram. It means you can access the switches from the diagram itself. And you see what is going on. If there is an issue in the, in the, in the, in the network, you will see it here in this diagram. So let's have a look to this client. He has a, a, a firewall 40 gate. He has an MPLS connection. He has internet connection. Uh, Aruba switches. Uh, Aruba access points. So let's, let's access this switch. Once you right click on this switch and you click tools and connect you can connect HTTPS, HTTP, SSH, but I will connect SSH to this switch. Let me log into this switch, log in on the other screen, username and the password. And we access the switch already. Just right click and connect, it connect. Both the username and password, you are connected now. Now I can access this interface, this interface, which is connected to this access point. It is one slash one slash 14. Let's go to this switch and to this port interface one slash one slash 14 and shut down the interface. You will see what is happening in the diagram. Plus you will get an email that this point is down or this access point is down. Within a minute, you will see the impact exactly in the diagram. So it is easy for your engineer. If he has an issue, someone reported in a specific site an issue, he will go to the diagram and we'll open it. Oh, there is an access point down here. You will see it soon now on the on the on the map, which is appears in the front of you. See, see the red link. Now this access point is down. Oh, what's going on? Also, you will get an email in your emails. If you go to your email, you will get an email that this access point is down. See. See, this is the email just arrived. Uh, access point five is down. It is unreachable now. And what is going on? If we come again to the switch, just no shutdown, just open it. Once you open it, you will see, yeah, see, the port is up. And also you will get an email that the access point is up. This happened for each and every node in your, in your network. So let's have a look to the email again. See, still node is down. It's not coming up yet, but once it become up, you will see node is down. Also, let me tell you something here. You can determine the time. So if I have a device down, you will not only get one email, you will get multiple emails. You can adjust this time. So every 20 minutes, send me an email. This access point is still down. This access point is still down every 20 minutes. But now I adjust it here for, for training purposes. You will get an email every 20 seconds. See, every 20 seconds, I get an email. Every 20 seconds, I get an email. So node is up now. The node is up now. And it is responding to my ICMP. So the node is up. So you will know by email, also by the diagram, if you have this interactive, beautiful diagram. Also, you can see here, I can add in each and every link what is the up, upload and download, which is going through this link or this link I just added here only. So once you add the subnet, 
of the site, he will discover all the devices, all the PCs, all the computers through two things, ICMP, SNMP, and if there is a servers, you can install a NetXMS agent to collect all the information related to this server. But for the network devices, you just only need SNMP. You can come here and you can see, you can categorize your device. So for site number A, this is the list of access point it has. This is a list of the firewall, only one firewall. This is a list of the switches. And also you can access each and every device. So for this switch, you can just click here. You will see all the interfaces in it. Also, if you come here to this firewall, you can see all the interfaces in it. Let's click here on this firewall and you click on the overview. You will see its IP, its name, uh, the serial number, the version of the software it has, everything. Also, you can see the alarms which you are getting from this firewall. And also, if you come here to data collection item, this is very important. You can add each and every sensor you want. You can add the, the upstream and downstream to see what how the bandwidth is, is going on, whatever the interface is. You can see the memory usage, the processor usage. Uh, let's, let's open here. I, I just add something. This is inbound traffic in one to one to the internet interface. And here is uh, the download to see uh, uh, how is the download or the traffic is coming to this one interface. If you double click on this uh, DCI data collection item, you will see the diagram. See, this uh, it is consuming around 10 to 12 meg, but there is here a peak here in this can see 38 mink. Also, you can right click and you can click on present. I need to see only just 10 minutes or just two hours, uh, last 20 hours, last one day, five days, last one year. You can see whatever you want. So let's click last one day. What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So you can in the last one day, you can see what is going, what's going on. Also, you can put in the performance tab the most important for you to monitor see here uh, this is the inbound traffic in one to the internet and this is the threshold you can set up a threshold to get an email if the bandwidth exceeded a specific limit like 80 percent so there is there is a congested bandwidth please if you reach to this threshold please send me an email also you can have a look this is the interfaces you have you can see who's up who's down uh also you can look to the arp cache also you can look to the routing table you can see all the routing table you don't have to access a device you can see it from here so uh, this is a very a very good thing about this this application let me show you also one of the interesting and amazing things if you come here and go to tools Sometimes, if a device has an issue, you need to know where is this device exactly connected? Where is connected, if we go to the map, where is this device connected to this switch or to that switch? Or where? So, the, 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 the expensive monitor tools doesn't have this, this, this feature. It is easily, you can search for the device by its IP or his Mac, and you can easily find a well the application will tell you this device is connected to this switch on port 5 for example let's come here please um ip search and please uh, search for this ip for me and start this looks like a printer and this is its mac address and this is its ip which you used to search and this is connected to this switch in port 9 so you easily can go to the switch and see what is going on, look at the configuration, and this is the name of the device. Dashboards. In the dashboard, you can put the more important graph you want to monitor. Also, you can choose line graph, bar graph, whatever the graph you want to see. So for example, I'm, I'm focusing here to the internet and the one-to interface. I can see, see, the inbound, 
and the outbound. So I can see the inbound traffic and the outbound traffic, download and upload. See, oh, it's okay. It looks like normal because this line looks has 100 meg internet. So we we are in the in a good situation. So as a network engineer, I can monitor each and every device inside my network. So if your network is important to you and you want to monitor each and every device in it, you want to get alerts and emails about what is going on inside your network. You want the life to be easy and visual to your engineers, your network engineers. We're going to help you. We will establish the server from scratch to you, building our script in the Ubuntu Linux server. And we make it ready for you to use it. And we're going to give you the support if you want. If you like that and you need that, please keep in touch with us in the email below. I hope this be informative for you and thank you for watching.